Hey, it is the, uh, the the last of the four episodes for uh, October fifteenth. So is it Retro Money Got to Eat? Andrew has joined us. Yay! Uh, this is the last for this week. Uh, we're doing the splitting it up into four episodes thing. Yeah. Uh, we do not stream Game Gear games. Uh, haven't actually even seen one here in Japan. Uh, but you know what we do stream is Ghostbusters on the Famicom. That's uh, that's me. Uh, I'm I'm a, a ghost symbol with uh, a line through it. So I, I'm guessing that's. I like the music. It looks like Sim City. It does. You may I follow your stream? Yes, you may follow my stream. Thank you, Master Splinter. <laughs> I really like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> How do I do anything? I can press. Zool. I can press B to go to the shop. Make a Let's go tail. shopping. Is it a, oh, there is a shop. Oh, they're all going into that building. What if that's bad news it. for me? I don't know how to go into a shop. What? And what now happened? You're driving a car. What happened? You're driving the Ghostbuster mobile. The Ghostbuster mobile. I can press B to get a. I am 550 miles away. Meters. Me meters. But it's American movie, American. Uh, I'm assuming yeah, this is an American so, game. Miles. I mean, you're in a city. Why would you be driving? 500 miles, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's <clears throat> And I would drive 500 miles. I would drive 500 more. A button's not doing anything. <laughs> B button swaps between the amount of money that I have. Oh, I bet you every time I take damage, that comes out of my uh, yeah. Your wallet, yeah. Ah, Unlike cool. the Ghostbusters game on the Wii, which I that recently played, where everything that you damage charges the city, yeah. and you just don't take the penalty, but it shows you how much you charge them. I thought it was interesting that uh, it still keeps track of that information. Like, well, I think it's you're so costing you the city just... forty-seven thousand dollars. Because everything in the thing? environment is breakable. Basically, you can yeah. fire your beam at it and sear the walls and such. So I think it's so you can go on a rampage and have fun with that. Cool. Cool. Grab a ghost and just you get smash him into the, the walls. <laughs> Bad Brig says, time to walk some stairs. Or drive some, yep. Huh. Yep, that's happening. You got more books? Yeah, yeah. Um, so using Speedmaster, it's oh, pretty dumb. I guess we've arrived. Speedmaster had actually... Like, I ran out of gas, so uh, the, uh, the Ghostbusters had to jump out and push. Test you on something that you can interview. This is for you. I just haven't. Is that a gas? Yeah. Yep, it's a gas. I don't want to take it until I get it. Yeah. Uh, this one looks really good. Cry. This one I've heard. I have really no idea what any of this means. <laughs> what's what's just, what is this? There's what is so this rectangle? It's just a big what's ball happening? Ball. I know, but I just haven't. Like, went there once. Decided to select fine. pauses yeah. the game. And they know you've been going for your tutoring. Can I so. like walk into oh, this guy? Do they know that? Yeah, your tutor will typically converse with them. Oh, okay. I know everything. Have you figured out what to do? Nope. See, so you're done driving. Oh, Did you, you shop to the driving one. store? Funny thing, I, sh I I drove in fact to the gas station, not the shop. What? <laughs> oh. Be on top of them. Flashing them freezes them. Uh, so you want to walk into them? So the red one, it goes to attacking the red building. How do I? How do I? How do uh, I get in this? Game or not? The name or? Beam or not? The It's like. It's don't hold your beam. Don't cross the streams. Probably don't cross the streams, yeah. <laughs> Go to <a> Gibbaho. <laughs> the new Ghostbusters. <laughs> no, it was uh yeah. that was I know on the Wii one. we were playing the yeah, other day. The newer uh, Ghostbusters game. Yeah, they're making a, a, a new movie, which is cool. Oh, did you know there's another Famicom Ghostbuster game? No. That's what he's saying. It's called New Ghostbusters. Ha! Huh. We will keep our eyes open for that. Like what what even is happening here? You should go to the G A conference. <laughs> That's the gas station and I don't actually know how to go into places. Oh it's a GS. Go to Zool! I think that's what the ghosts were trying to do. I'm gonna play as the ghosts. Like, I don't know like, what's happening. Oh, I guess. Driving now. Yay. I'm just pretending to play. <laughs> do I go faster if I'm up to the top of the screen? 
Oh, yeah. Oh. So these guys do not use their signals at all. I no, might have just don't. run over a ghost. Yeah. I like this MIDI rendition of this music. Yep. I need to pick me up some uh, of those uh, <laughs> gas drums, the oil drums, which I'm assuming- oh, Man, oh, some like. crazy stuff just happened in your chat. Well... It's like Russian and a Google link and some code. Probably spam. I'm gonna say to be safe, don't click that, folks. Yeah. There's, there's that ghost again. Come on, give me some more uh, oil drums. Give me an oil drum. We've got a lot further to drive this time. Yeah. I think what happened. Oh, ah. <laughs> How am I even supposed to get that? Yeah, they're gonna have to get out and push again. <laughs> <laughs> they have to get out and push? Yeah. That's adorable. Alright, so that's, um,. I guess I'll play for a few more minutes before coming up with a... Uh... <laughs> oh, you got the gas station. But then it just kicks me out, and now I'm here, and now the ghosts win. Like... Can I go? Yeah. Okay. Just feel free to... Gonna kick some butt. I made a rectangle. Yeah, B button makes a rectangle. <laughs> we figured that out. Uh, a button does apparently nothing. Sometimes when you're next to a building, it puts you into uh, driving mode. Which is weird because I feel like you're already there. You press select, which pauses the game. I wanted to select the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> da, da. Ah. Either you froze it or you pressed B and select. I pressed B and held it. Do you think maybe it's glitchy and that the game is actually better than this? We just glitched it out. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I touched the uh, cartridge and it fixed. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not sure uh, what's going on here. They're always going towards the Zool building, eh? Yeah. Ah. Oh, I can't move. Oh, I see. You can move forward and backward, but it's kind of sluggish, eh? The higher, the closer to the... The closer to the top of the screen you get, the faster you're going. Right, huh. <laughs> I think you need to bring the, uh, the the meter down to zero before running out of gas. Let's see here. Um, and you can refill on gas by collecting the oil drums, the red drums. Oh. Man, I was like right by it too. Slow down, slow down. Ran over a ghost. Huh. Man, their theme music is so classy. Yep. Ah, really? Huh. Slow down. You gotta slow down. No way, man. This is how I drive. Stop and smell the flowers. This is my life, yo. Yes, yo. Yes, yo. The cars are always swerving toward me. And they always come in twos. Yeah. Just like real highways. Yep. I'm thinking there's a gas tank coming up. Nope. <laughs> Alas. Huh. Why is there a highway? It's a very interesting game. And where does it go? Why is there a gas station on the highway? That's where gas stations go. That's where they spawn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Why are they both clapping? I was between them. Let's go to Zool. The baby in back is killing that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's normal. Dark Zoma says that uh, William is <laughs> killing <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's <laughs> <laughs> We're just over here playing a game. Somebody's getting martyred in the back. <laughs> so, theory. When a building flashes red, that means you have to get to it and flash it with your rectangle thing. Okay. <laughs> um, and that this is just the entire game. is You've got to go and flash the buildings before they uh, get too infested by ghosts. Hmm. I wonder why they'd make it a 
white rectangle. Like of all the things. And that also pauses the game too. Maybe it's supposed to be like a menu? That's what I felt, yeah. Because it seemed more like a pause <laughs> thing than an action. Uh, we've got another message from somebody who's not talking in a thing that looks like a language. Man, do you think it's the ghosts? Yeah, I think that uh, <laughs> I think our chat is haunted. And so be a twitch, ghosts bust you. All right, I want to show off what we're uh, playing next week. I'm very excited about this. So, first off, found two more parts for the uh, Famicom Disk System uh, project. Got two Famicom Disk Systems and no cables, except now we've got the power cable and a splitter that lets you plug the Famicom and the Disk System into the same adapter, which is super cool. That's even a um, Famicom uh, Disk System. Uh, branded. The adapter. local video game store guys know what we want and they find it for us and then give us presents. It's fantastic. I'm very happy. I think they tend to turn red when I'm near them. Uh, yeah, my first theory was like being near a building and having it be red highlights it for entry. Right oh. That just pauses, pauses it. Alright, first off, we've got a uh, they... Nothing. I think so, maybe selected. the game is glitched. I think I think this is just it. Ooh. I think the barrier here is that we need to be able to get to a place by driving without running out of gas. Anyway, so um, they bought out another shop that went under a gas, or just had like some stock from 30 years ago. So I got this. Whoa! What? Bad luck. You could not save the city of New York. The prediction oh, no. will come true. Gozer has overcome your uh, our civilization. The game is over. Uh, <laughs> well, at least we got a resolution. <laughs> yeah. So this is a brand new unopened inbox uh, Super Game Boy controller. Um, that's going to come in handy for future episodes where we're doing uh, Super Game Boy games. Got uh, this nice piece of uh, hardware uh, <laughs> uh, by uh, third party. Hardware manufacturer that I think is also the one behind the Super Game Boy. Um, a, uh, a turbo button uh, adapter for your controller, as you're going to want if you're cheating at uh, Street Fighter. Got uh, this aerobics game for the Famicom. <laughs> Again, unopened in box. I mean, now it's been opened. But, so I was like, surprised to find that Nintendo's more recent games like the whole Wii Fitness craze are really just a throwback. Yeah, weren't actually a brand new idea from Nintendo. It's just, hey, let's do that thing we did back in the 80s. Yep. Uh, if they did that thing they, they did back in the 70s and 60s, they'd uh, open up a chain of love hotels, which, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be entirely against. Wow. <laughs> You'd go to a Nintendo love hotel with me? I would absolutely go to a Nintendo love hotel. Yeah, I bet you Especially would. if it was Nintendo themed. Yeah, that would be fantastic. We did go to that Hello Kitty themed love hotel. Yeah. That was pretty interesting. So like you go in, everyone is dressed like toads. <laughs> um, what else is there? Um, mushroom dildos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you remember that my mother is watched. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, go over here. This, <laughs> this is the um, uh, this is our my my previous Super Game Boy. Uh, cartridge. I uh, upgraded it to Super Game Boy 2, which is uh, shiny and translucent, and it's got a light. And uh, it, you can trade because there's just a, a, a trade cable slot inside. Um, we're thinking about getting another one of these, and we've got multiple Super Famicom, so we can just have two Game Boy games, each in its own Super Game Boy. Um, and then, uh, I guess we'd need another television, but we can make that happen. Anyway, uh, we'd like to maybe do a, a race of Pokemon, of Pokemon, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green, maybe. Um, and we can trade because you can just, I don't know, it's, it's like this really weird jury-rigged system that doesn't seem to make sense where you're playing Game Boy games in a, in a hardware that it's that, that is not meant for it. Um, this is what we'll be playing next week. Is there water inside? Sufami <laughs> Turbo. You look like Yakuza. This is a piece of hardware you plug into your Super Famicom. 
somehow the uh, manufacturers managed to convince Nintendo to uh, let them manufacture their own cartridges, something that they uh, realized for very good reasons that they should not have done for the Famicom in Japan, um, which they enacted in uh, even North America and I'm guessing probably Europe for the Famicom, where Nintendo gets to manufacture all of the cartridges. Everyone has to go through them. Um, and we don't get uh, 300 different widths of cartridge for the, uh, the Famicom. Anyway, um, so uh, this thing is a Super Famicom cartridge with two cartridge slots uh, for a, a little uh, narrow yeah. cartridge. Um, and uh, we've got four of them here. This one is based on a local manga from the next town over. Um, the uh, Yonago Airport is just covered in this stuff, um, and uh, they've, got, they've got a train dedicated to these characters, so that's it's pretty cool and it's close to home. Also, three more games. So these are the four games that we'll be playing. Uh, the one that came with the uh, cartridge and these other three. Um, neat thing is that the game in slot A is the one that you're playing, and the game that is on slot B uh, changes the game that's in slot A. And in some ways that I'm not entirely sure about. I'm not. Uh, I'm not like aware. Sonic and Knuckles. It it could be like Sonic and Knuckles. It could be just like a, a second entire set of uh, levels. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be something like uh, instead of using a random number generator or like a set seed, it's just a, an alternate seed. So anything that is uh, pseudo random is uh, different. So like you know the monsters are all blue and have twice as much health. Or <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be uh, next week. Next week, same time, uh, 8 p.m. Japanese Standard Time. Um, I figured what that was uh, in uh, um, Greenwich Mean Time or whatever that's called now. Um, but I forgot. It. 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're anywhere near the east coast of North America. Um, yeah, that's that's our show. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully, yeah, uh, you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know what's happening back there, but uh, I'm going to find out. <laughs> they are uh, beating each other up with rubber ducks. Oh, that's cool. Did you hear?